Hi there, I can't remove the handle from my Fister bathroom sink faucet. The handle and the hub are stuck together. Hi, I'm Mike and I have 20 plus years of experience as a plumber. I'll be glad to assist you today. Does the handle squeak when you turn it on and off or grind at all? No, it's just stuck. The entire handle plus hub assembly turns when I turn the handle. That way, I can still get hot water to come out. I don't know if the only solution is to get a big wrench and just force the two apart. So you basically have to tighten the base down before you can loosen the handle off. Remember, I could get hot water, although the entire handle plus hub would rotate. When you say the bottom, do you mean I have to go under the cabinet? Yes. Ugh, I have no idea how to do that. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this clearly. Do you have the capability to do a video chat like FaceTime or something? You are explaining it very clearly. Thank you for that. We do have a new service called Additional Services. It is a bit more but we can chat on the phone through the site. I haven't even tried it yet. Or we can continue this chat. Either way. I was just thinking, like we do FaceTime off of the site dot or I could shoot a video and post it but that would take about 5 minutes, and I don't know if you feel like waiting. The loosening from underneath may be easy depending on the type of nut it is. We do have to communicate through the site. I totally understand what the problem is though. The valve body is installed and then the base for the handle threads on and then the handle. The valve body was installed a bit not tall enough so the base and handle base are locked together. You would nave to loosen the nut underneath that holds the valve body then tighten the base piece down towards the countertop. Then loosen the handle body off. What type of tools do I need for that? Well let's hope just a screwdriver. Hold on just a second. I am going to see if I can find a picture of the nut. Actually, this faucet doesn't go on as you described. The handle and the hub, base, are attached together. It is not that the base goes on first, and the handle goes on afterward. I posted a video, https colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals 7BP96CL2RPO and feature equals U2.B. Either way it is the same deal. I can't find a picture of the nut. Anyway if you have a flashlight and look underneath, do you see the nut there that is tightened underneath? It may have screws in it. If it does then loosen the screws and those screws anchor the nut. After loosening the screws then loosen the nut. The problem is the same whether there is a base piece or not. The valve assembly was not installed high enough. If it is not the nut with the screws in it then you will probably need a basin wrench if you cannot get it with any kind of channel locks or pliers that you have. The bottom doesn't have any screws. I took a photo of the underside of the sink. Does this mean I need a basin wrench? https colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash 8 cluene 0 is ike slash sync jpg just watched your video it is the this issue as described so the valve body the part that was exposed when you remove the cold handle is not installed high enough okay 
Please check out the photo, too. HTTPS colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash 8 cluing 0 is Ike slash sync. JPG The weird thing is that the faucet worked fine for a year. Got some rubber dish gloves? Maybe they will help you get a grip on the base of the handle to unscrew it. It looks like you would have enough room to get to that nut underneath with some small channel locks. Full size image. Yeah, I tried the dish gloves already, until my hands hurt. Anyway, even if I pop off the faucet, are you saying that the valve body needs to be raised anyway? I guess what I am trying to ask is if I need to call a plumber to come over to fix it. Probably was not quite installed high enough or tight enough. They left the handle base not tightened down all the way to avoid adjusting the height and with time the base worked its way tighter. Sounds like I need to call a plumber. Would you agree? I don't apostrophe T dot how about some rubber dish gloves? Got those? Yes, I tried that already, till my hands hurt. Rubber gloves, leather gloves. You know your limits. I don't want to push. Basically once that big nut on the bottom is loosened a bit that handle will come right off like the other one did. Okay, I guess I can try that. How does Just Answer work if I have to end up calling a plumber anyway? Do I still have to pay the full price? Well, it is totally up to you. I'll work on it for a while, maybe 30 minutes. If I can figure it out then I will give a good rating and pay. I guess I have to leave this chat window open. You don't have to. You can try tomorrow if you want to. I would much rather you don't need the plumber. It would cost you less to get a basin wrench or a strap wrench. Full-size image strap wrench. You can use that to grab the handle but it may not work. Full-size image. Basin wrench will get you the nut off underneath. It is better if you do not leave a rating at that point. I would rather not get paid rather than not get paid and get a bad rating. Especially when I have given you the answer to the question. I will do everything I can to help you with whatever issues you have when trying to carry out the directions I provided. I am hopping back and forth between the bathroom and the computer. I feel like I need to detach the hose first because I am having difficulty accessing the nut. Is that correct? It may be easier, yes. Do you know how it disconnects? HTTPS colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash jr 8 fos 5 7290 b slash sync 2 JPG See the photo. I just turned number one counterclockwise, right? I have been turning and turning but it hasn't come off yet. I think I'm just not quite there yet. Then I have to pull the wing nut, too, downward. Then I can more easily access the big gold nut. It's difficult since I have crappy tools. Yes, turn number one counterclockwise. Turn the water off too. You are exactly right. I think there is a clip that hold that wing nut thing in place. Maybe that black piece. You don't need that Teflon tape on it either. 
Yeah, I already pulled out the pin clip and turned off the water to my house. The local water knob under the sink wouldn't budge. Okay, I will go back to the bathroom now. I got the hose off but the gold nut won't budge. I took another photo and drew an arrow to the gold nut that I am trying to turn. Am I doing it right? https colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash 7 fmugskern 2 f slash sync 3 jpg Yes that is the one. Sorry I dozed off a bit. What about turning the whole valve body? Can you turn it just a bit? Maybe that will free the handle. What tool are you using? Oh hey, I got the handle out. But I think the plastic ring is what is causing it to be stuck. Let me send another photo. HTTPS colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash bqpvtg2mb4pn0h9 slash sync4 JPG Look at the photo, I think the plastic white ring, arrow, is getting caught on the gold threads. That's why the two are stuck. Will you send a picture of the other stem without the handle on it please? Sure hold on. https colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash a 109 zwwbw 4 uyo slash sync 5 jpg https colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash ALP buys 3xb7 qtv slash sync 6 jpg is there a clip that is holding it on or a nut you know what i just unscrewed the gold part from the faucet handle assembly and it came apart without too much difficulty but the handle and the hub are still stuck together. I think I have a defective handle. How is the valve body secured at the top? Told you that you didn't need a plumber. Well another plumber. Well I might need one to put everything back together. Nah. So at this point should I get a replacement faucet handle and reassemble? Answer me this, how is the valve body secured on top? Is there a clip under the brass washer? I don't think so. I'll take a photo. Okay without the brass washer. HTTPS colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash 8b96b14c1sli9 ba slash sync7 JPG I don't see a brass washer On the cold stem My photo is of the entire stem, I pulled it out did you see the photo https colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash 8b96b14c1sli9 ba slash sync7 jpg Yes Isn't the other one still installed? Looks like the brass washer is just sitting there. I think there is a clip that is holding it on under the brass washer, no. If you put the handle back on then does it turn on and off? No it is held in place because underneath the granite and plywood, there is another washer and the big nut. See photo https colon slash www.dropbox.com slash s slash 3g64zs tungsukla 0 slash washer. JPG 
The hot handle is still stuck to the hub. The handle cannot rotate independently of the hub. Even after I completely remove the handle slash hub assembly. Great dot you broke it. Just kidding. I think it's defective or something. Yes looks like the handle is broken. If you call Price Fister they should send you another for free as they have a lifetime warranty. Need to get another one to replace it. Okay dot now my bigger issue now is that my local sink shut off won't work. I had to shut water to the whole house. The knob won't move. Can I try to force it? This is all stuff that is less than two years old. We recently remodeled the house. No fault with the valve really. It was poor installation. They didn't have enough stem up. You still think it's a short stem problem? The handle is stuck. I think it's a defective part. You can hook the stems to the water lines again and just make sure the valves are shut off before turning the water on. I don't want to hook it back up, too much work. I would rather just shut off the water until I get the new faucet handle. Yes I sure do. The manufacturer won't know that. You don't know that either. The shutoff may work. The shutoffs are old and the rest is new. Even the shutoffs are new. The stupid shutoff handle, the oval kind, just won't turn. The one on the cold side turns fine. I wonder if I can just force it or if it would break. Maybe it's off already. No, I got hot water before I started this project a few hours ago. So I know that side is flowing. Remember, I could get hot water, although the entire handle plus hub would rotate. Try turning it on a bit first. Then put a little force to it. If I get a new handle, how do I know how to install it properly so that the stem isn't too short? When you put the handle on the stem, screw it down as far as it will go. Then tighten the bottom nut. Okay. I can turn the shutoff valve with pliers. It's really hard to turn. I turned it about a half turn that I feel like I need to make a few rotations before it will be shut off. Should I continue to turn it with the pliers? It shouldn't be that hard to turn. I would hook the valve stems back to the water lines and turn those off. More safe. I can help you replace that shut off tomorrow. Okay, I guess I'll try that. I should be okay for tonight then. Thanks for your help. You are very welcome. The best thing to do is replace that shut off. You really need to have those functional. I will be online most of the day. Okay, thank you. Not sure if I will tackle this tomorrow. I hate plumbing, haha. Ha. You will hate it less with the right support. I appreciate your help. I think this service would be a lot more effective if we could talk on the phone instead of typing. It is progressing. I think the issue is documenting the conversation. Hard to monitor phone conversations. They have the new additional services that we can talk on the phone but I haven't tried it yet. 
Most people don't want to pay the extra. Not sure many really understand the value here. You probably saved about $200 taking that apart yourself and you still would be in the same spot. Taking apart is one thing. Putting it back together is another. That is a problem for another day. All right, Mike R., I will get in touch with you when I need your help again. Well, maybe when you are ready, you should be my first customer to use that service. We can put the faucet back together and replace your shutoff. Did I earn a good rating now? Yes, I put excellent service. Okay, I'm going to go attempt to put everything back together so I can take a shower tonight. I hope it doesn't leak all over or I'm screwed. I am going to bed. I hope it doesn't leak too. Thanks, xxxxxxxxxxxx. Good night to you too. The smiley faces are the rating thing. It has not been working well sometimes the last few days. Let me know if you have troubles. I will send a message with a link to my profile for future reference. You are very welcome too. Okay, thanks. The message will go to my email address. How about I just put it now? You can bookmark it for then. HTTP colon slash www.justanswer.com slash home improvement slash expert Canuck Pro slash. Okay, got it. Thank you. You are very welcome. Okay, good night. I'm signing off now. Me too. If the rating thing does not work, I can have it processed. Just let me know. You can still ask questions after the rating too if something comes up. I will always respond. Okay, thanks. I'm going to submit the rating now. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.